All right, guys. Another little bit with the injector pump swap between these motors. Um, I've got both pumps now on the ground. Off the motor, of course. I left the gear in there. The gear doesn't have to come with it. Um, you do want to make sure that the gear is clean on both the front and the back side before you go back together with it. The same with your uh, retaining ring. Make sure there's no oil on it. And on the snout of the pump right there, make sure there's no oil on any of that. Because it's all a friction lock together. Um, if you got any oil on it, your timing will slip. And that may actually be what happened to that. When I took the bolts out of there, they, they weren't even really tight. Uh, I put the impact on them to zip them out, all three of them gear bolts, and it didn't even, the hammer never hit, it just ran them out. So it probably slipped time because, like a lot of the other shit on this thing, it's just been loose. Um, anyway, the timing between the pumps. Uh, you can get the pump 180 degrees out, and my thing was that I got this one close enough to where it needed to be on the timing on the motor, so I needed to match this pump to the timing of that pump. Now, if you look in here, you can see, and it's spring-loaded, so without the gear on it, it can just move on its own. You can see the mark there. And when you see that mark, if you go under here and look in there, on that gear in there, you don't see a mark on any of the teeth, the hydraulic head pulling mark. When I pulled this pump off, you can see the mark in there, and the mark in here on the hydraulic head gear was almost lined up, which told me that this pump was 180 degrees out of what that pump was. So all I had to do was put my 7 8 wrench on this and turn the pump over until that mark showed up again, and look down here at the gear, and there was no mark present. But you see in there, the mark on this one has got a um, red paint mark on it, which most of them do. And I, I look, I'll, well, I'd like to rotate it again and show you, but uh, I only have one hand, and uh, I don't have a way to secure the pump. Anyway, that's all you got to do. That you got two marks on the pump, you know. So, uh, that's, uh, pretty simple, I guess. Just, uh, make sure they're congruent between the two, and when you put this on, your motor it's going on, um, it's all on you whether you get it right from there or not. So, uh, I'm gonna put this together. It's a shot in the dark. I know I'm at least going to get the pump timing where it needs to be and lock it down so it's not going to slip. So I'll have that part done right. And then I'll have to go back and set all the valves. And then hopefully the first time I run it down the road, it doesn't fall on its face because the pump is 180 degrees out. Because if they had the pump 180 degrees out, then I'm going to have the pump 180 degrees out because I match the timing to that. So, um... Got a hell of a mess going on here. I, I really would like to get this thing done. The last time I did this job, I had the motor out and back in in two days. But I already had this motor completely done and ready to go in. I didn't have to do any swapping of anything around. So, uh, hey, thanks for watching. Hope it helps you. Like and subscribe. You know the deal. We'll see you on the next one.